Hey, welcome to Graphic Pulse Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is I Survived the Great Chicago Fire, 1871. It's based on a novel uh, by Lauren Tarshis, adapted by Georgia Ball, with art by Cassie Anderson, colors by Juanma Aguilera. Um, all right, so the I Survived series of graphic novels are all about uh, these dire situations, so uh, it, it tends to dramatize with some facts uh, about of people going living through these horrible situations. So it's like I survived 9-11. I think there's I survived the Holocaust. Uh, this is the Chicago Fire, obviously. And this is about a kid named Oscar. Oscar is moving to Chicago after um, after his mom gets remarried. His father passes away. So he goes from a farm to Chicago. Uh, he's not the biggest fan of... of Moving uh, obviously is is torn because he made promises to his father about uh, taking care of their farm or, or watching watching the farm. Um, but when they get to Chicago, all hell breaks loose in the uh, big giant fire that hits the city. Now, for those who don't know, like a myth started many many years later. I, I don't know how many years later, but um, a myth started that a a cow kicked over a lantern, and it's the O'Larrys or O'Briens or something like that. Is the as the people they they blamed uh, O'Leary? That was pretty good. So I got good memory on that one. Uh, but that's not really what happened. Um, O'Leary's were blamed mostly, probably because they were immigrants and some anti-immigrant uh, fervor uh, that was going on. But a uh, fire started. It was like a dry summer. A spark could have gotten things going. Uh, the city was made of wood. Like even the sidewalks were made of wood. Like it was just a wooden city in a dry summer, and fires spread really easily. Uh, but even with a fantastic fire department, they couldn't go and put out the fire. Um, there's small facts like this that are thrown throughout this graphic novel that you can go learn. But really, it's dramatized. It's Oscar uh, gets separated from his mom and dad, uh, trying to get back some luggage that was stolen, and then has to make his way through the fire. It's really like a survival kind of running the gauntlet as things are going up. Um, you, you know, there's a little bit of facts here and there about uh, the fire itself. Uh, but generally it's really just a dramatization of what it is, but it's a good dramatization. Like it, there's, there's some, some fear in this. There's some like tense, uh, moments in this. Like you really don't know exactly where it's all going to go. Uh, and that, I think it's really, really good. In the back of it, there's some extra material that goes over like the actual history, uh, about Chicago, the fire itself, like where Chicago is now. Uh, and, and I think, I don't remember if it gives other material. Yeah. There's a little bit of other, I think, reading material that's in there. Uh, to learn more. Um, so there is like some some back material about learning about the actual great Chicago fire. Uh, but for the most part, it's really just this kid running the gauntlet of flames trying to survive uh, and kind of taking you through how a lot of people got screwed by this. Like there was water, uh, but the water was freezing. You know, there was giant buildings all over the place. There was really no place to run. And that was kind of, that's kind of the point of the graphic novel. Um, the art is good. I think once things really get going, like, it's generally good, uh, but I really like the, the as the fire's going on, I'm going to see if I can find, like, there's something about this, the sadness of Oscar, the fear of him, of, of seeing what's going on, and then there is, I think, a really good sense of, like, the fire closing in and having to try to get out. Like, it does a solid job of that. Um, so overall, like, it's, it's interesting. I, it's not one to read necessarily for the educational aspect about the Chicago fire, but, you know, there's something kind of like, you get, in the, you get the feel of trying to escape this, this horrific event. Uh, and that's kind of the point of these graphic novels, I think. So uh, it's intriguing on that. And like, again, not one for, for the education, one for the entertainment. Make sense? All right. You can go get this. This is out now in comic shops. Go uh, hit up your local shop. We've got a link beneath this video. Put in your zip code. It'll tell the comic shops near you. No shop, no problem. We do have some links where you can purchase your own. There'll be affiliate links, so we can get a small percentage by doing the support our site. I, of course, want to thank Scholastic Graphics for hooking us up with this review copy, and thank you all for watching. If you are into comics, if you're into graphic novels, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky.
Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.